Hey guys, Yang here. Um, I want to update my Amazement deck profile. I know I did one last time, but uh, we got a new card in the this set, um, Power the Elements, a new trap. So I want to update it. So monsters, uh, three attendant comicos. There we go. She's the one that um, on normal summon, um, we get to search for any trap and then we set it. And then uh, she can also redirect uh, our, all of our attraction traps either equipped to our amazement monster or the opponent's monster. And she can redirect it to either our monster or their monster. And then our traps have different effects depending on if it's equipped to our monster or their monster. I'll explain all the traps later. Um, that's the boss monster of the deck on um, three Arlie Kino. He's the administrator, so a boss. So he has a, a few effects. So the first effect is um, not a hard one to return. Banish any um, attraction traps to target um, cards your opponent controls and destroy them. Second effect is uh, if a trap card is activated, you can special summon this card. So it can be your opponent's trap card or your trap card. And then um, the third effect is the the best one in my opinion. When he's on the field, when your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you, we can target that monster and equip one of our traps straight from the deck. Uh, hand traps, got two ogres. Ogres um pretty strong this format, so I went with ogre instead of... Baylor is also good too, but... We don't have room for that many hand traps. We got three ash. We always have room for ash. Uh, spells. Three extra. Then uh, three amazing time ticket. Time ticket is a quick play spell. Pay 800 life points depending on whose turn it is. If it's your turn, you add one of the monsters. And then if it's your opponent's turn, you set an attraction trap. And it is able to be activated that turn. Very useful card. Then for the traps, we got a lot of them. So this one, Cycle Coaster. Um, this one is uh, very useful. It can, um, if it's equipped to uh, our Amazement Monster, it becomes like a MST, but a better version since um, it sends the card out, not doesn't destroy it. And then uh, if it's equipped to your opponent's monster, you can send this card and search any Amazement Monster from deck. So um, these are uh, amazement uh, attraction trap cards, I should say. Uh, they need to be prematurely activated, equipped to the target first before you can activate their second effect. So you can't just um, activate to equip and then um, activate the uh, effect in the same chain, basically. It has to be in a separate chain, is what I'm talking about. So it's a little slow, but that's why it's like a casual deck, but I, I really like this strategy a lot. There's a uh, Horror House. Horror House is, uh, if, if it's equipped to your opponent, it becomes a Book of Moon. If it's equipped to us, it's a uh, Imperm, basically a monster effect negate. Yeah, if it's equipped to our monster, it's like a monster negate every turn because it stays on our monster. If it's equipped to your opponent, it books it and then this goes to the hit, falls off. And then this is the new card. This is actually good. Because the last time the Viking Raider or what that card was called, I, I, I did not like that card. It didn't do enough. This card though, on the other hand, when it's equipped to us, it doesn't really do that much. It, when it's equipped to us, it can um, recycle a trap back from the graveyard and set it. That's like, eh. And then uh, we, when it's equipped the opponent, it's a Farfa. So it banish the monster until the end phase, which is a very good interruption. So we play three of those. Then one um, rapid racing. Uh, this one is uh, when it's equipped to us, that, that's the effect that matters. Um, it's a DD Crow every turn if it's equipped to us. When it's equipped to opponent, it can alternate their level. So it could come up, but not that important. And then we play two family races. This one is, um, it's like a crackdown in a sense. Um, but the monster has to be equipped with one of our attraction traps. 
and then we activate this to target that monster, equip this card to that monster, and then we steal it. And that monster gains 500 attack. It just cannot activate its effects. We can attack with it and everything, link off with it. And once this is, gets equipped to the monster and we permanently take it, we, uh, the attraction trap can be, can, it doesn't have to be equipped to that monster anymore. So Comica can uh, re-equip it to our monster. And then we'll talk about stealing monsters. We've got three more crap downs to steal even more monsters. Um, we got three solemn strikes, just generically good traps. We got uh, two punishment, just generically good traps again, and then uh, more hand traps um, because you have to play imperm. Imperm is perfect because uh, you open imperm in the Articino, you can just um, have that imperm faker type of deal going on. It's really really impactful if you open that during your opponent's turn. And then uh, extra deck is nothing really to talk about because you really never go into the extra deck. So I just have a lot of um, extra deck target for punishment, basically. Entis, Fossil Warrior, Omega, Wind Pegasus, Paleo, a couple of Evil Twins, and then three of the my favorite Link monster, the BLS Link. There's that. And then uh, the side deck, we we'll always side uh, three uh, Lord of Heavenly Prison because we're playing a back row deck. To protect our back row, um, we're gonna know that Feather Duster or Twin Twister, they're coming in past game one. Then we have three Sphere Modes. Sphere Mode is really good this format because uh, Sprite, uh, they're, they, they build a really large board. So you just fear mode them. And being the trap deck, we're obviously we're gonna side anti-spell. And then um, we also side there can be only one. Cause our guy is sidekick and um, our Kamika is a machine. And then we have the keys to kill Lila, evil twin for the Ultimate Slayer, and then these two cards should be Ultimate Slayer, which I don't have yet. So I want to try out the Ultimate Slayer. Sounds really good on paper, because um, Ultimate Slayer out on a Link Monster, and then the Trouble Sun, you can send another card away. It's like a better Entis in a way, but you have to run the Brick too. But anyways, um, that's all for the deck. Um, I hope you guys like the new and updated amazement deck nobody does is this deck profile like they don't care for this deck anymore but i still remember it um last time i run it with dragoon and this time i'm just thinking of cards to put in here i was like dragoon is fine but like, it's kind of bricky and um i wanted to run like scapegoats too but like you want to summon articino in your opponent's turn so scapegoat doesn't really work here but anyways, I did the best I can to make this deck as playable as possible. Uh, hope you guys like the profile. Comment down below what you guys will run in this deck. And um, is there any other amazement lovers out there besides me? And um, like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.